This is new at 5.30. Could the city of Chester end up getting split up due to financial woes? There's a whole lot of drama going on among city leaders. The mayor attempting to set the record straight today. Hank, what can you tell us? Well, no kidding, uh, Sheba. Some say the Chester really just wants to maintain its hands on its own steering wheel going forward. Others say outside forces want to disincorporate Chester and subdivide the riverfront community. It is in receivership, bankruptcy proceedings. The business of Chester is broken. So today, the mayor came out to demand self-rule and, more importantly, Sheba, money. This mayor and members of council will be visiting Harrisburg to find out how we get our share of that $8 billion. Chester Mayor Thaddeus Kirkland says his town could use a few bucks from Harrisburg's fat rainy day fund, but Chester's state appointed receiver keeps getting in the way, he says, of local solutions to Chester's money woes, like a potential plan to sell Chester's water system to Aqua PA for $440 million. With $12 million separate from the $440 million up front, which would have helped the city with its financial woes. The receiver instead chose not to even have that conversation. We haven't even had that, those conversations. Chester's been designated a financially stressed municipality going back nearly 30 years to 1995. Locals like Rick Nardone blame corruption and an overly generous city employee pension plan that's no longer in place for the fiscal disaster. You can't give people pensions at 47, 50 years old, and medical benefits when they retire until they're 65 years old doesn't work. We don't have the, we don't have the tax revenue. Chester gets a quarter of its annual revenue from the casino and the recycling plant, but those reduce benefits. And the fact that the city is in receivership make it tough for the city to attract business and talent. It's hard to get other businesses and other entities to come in and work with you because they fear that the same thing is going to happen to them, that they won't get paid after rendering services. Details of the fight from the last two core orders make good reading. Salaries and benefits that have been reduced by the receiver, one from January and one from March. Allegations from both sides, and most important, the way the judge sees it. Now, Sheba, we spoke on the phone with receiver Michael Doweary. He picked the phone right up, and he told us very clearly from federal courts all the way down to local courts and even among the creditors, the only one standing in the way of the receivership process, he said, was, quote, certain city officials, unquote. He wouldn't say exactly who they are, but they're spelled out very clear in those court documents. Go to ChesterReceivership.com or go to us at Fox29.com for all you want. We're live in Chester. Sheba? Some more finger-pointing tonight. All right, Hank, thank you.